What's up guys, so we're back with another riddle map in Fortnite Creative. Now, if you've seen my previous video on it, you know that I'm extremely good at riddles and I got every single one right straight away. So let's see if this one can beat me. So it seems like they're doing another narrator type thing as we go. So we'll try and read them. If they get boring, then I'll just cut them out. So let's see what it does. They'll be here any minute now. What do I say? Hi, hello, yo, okay. Boring. Hey, didn't see you there. How you doing? Welcome to the Genius Maze, created by yours truly. Yeah, try and solve them. Um, if you get stumped, try looking around. Okay. We'll just get on with it. Off we go. Let's start with an easy one. What belongs to you, but others use it more than you? Well, that's easy. That's your name. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that one. So, as I said, easy one. Is it there? It is. Your name. I'm guessing that's the right one. Oh, I like the little jingle that it does. That's nice. Nice little touch on it. That's right. Others use your name more than you use it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you did say it was an easy one. Well done. When it comes to me, you go on red and stop on green. Go on red, stop on green. What am I? A tree, traffic light, watermelon. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's watermelon. Yeah, because when you eat it, you eat the red bit and then you stop when it gets to the green. Yeah, pretty much what I said. Onwards. Off we go. What do you not want, but once you get it, you do not want to lose it? Right, hang on. What do you not want? So you don't want it, but once you get it, you don't want to lose it. Okay. Nothing. A spider or law a lawsuit. Well, I definitely don't... Uh, I hate spiders, so definitely not that one. Nothing. Is it going to be like that rich type one? You know, the whole rich have it, poor don't have it thing and all that? Or... Or a little suit. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm with it. Because you don't want a lawsuit. But once you get it, you don't want... Yeah, okay, I'm with it. Figured it out. That was, that was a little bit tricky for me, that one. There's a little jingle again. Yeah, pretty much what I said. Other kind of possible answers. War, a job, an Amazon. Well, I didn't like Amazon Prime. I actually cancelled it, so I did lose it. Because... It was just boring. Definitely not worth the money. So, up we go. Oh, pretty. Whee, there we go. Yay, I'm smarter than an infant. Yay. I'm so clever. To be honest with you, I mean, a lot of YouTubers probably failed on that one because they're not smarter than infants. So, you know. So, <laughs> you visit a planet and find a new species of creature. 52 display male attributes, 63 display female attributes, and 47 display both male and female attributes. How many aliens are on the planet? Um, okay, minus 5, no idea how that one could be. 1, 21, 68, 115. I'm assuming if you add them all together, it's going to be one of those two. So it'd be 115, I'd guess. No, it'd be well more. Th oh no, it wouldn't be more. Because that 47. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, how many aliens are on the planet? I'm the alien on the planet. So it's one. Am I right? I haven't played the jingle. That's right. From their point of view, you're the strange visitor. Yay. I'm the monster uh, alien. Alright, slow down for a second. I need more time. Hmm, what explosion? Yeah, I won't really pay that much attention. One of pairs is not like the other. Oh, I'm guessing that's supposed to say one of these pairs is not like the other. Can you tell me which? Of course I can. Mike and Victor, Romeo and Juliet, Quebec and Lima, Rum and Brandy, Tango and Foxtrot. Well, that one's easy. It's Rum and Brandy. Because all the other ones are the uh, NATO phonetic alphabet. And Rum and Brandy isn't. So... Another really easy one. I thought they 
I thought they'd get a bit harder. November, India, Charlie, Echo, Oscar, November. Oh, nice. It says nice one. Clever. I like that bit. Yeah. NATO phonetic. Use the code. Standard stuff that they say. A few finishing touches. Blah, blah, blah. We're just going to run through that. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Um. Could you not? Okay. Scary man with a gun. Where do I go? Oh. Oh, that's right. Full damage ain't on. I thought I had to make over the jump. Okay, wasn't my idea. Blah, blah, blah. I really can't be able to read all of that. I'm pretty sure it's quite entertaining, but when I'm recording a video for you guys, it's just... It'll take too long. Welcome to the Riddle Tower. Act amazed. Wow, we're in the Riddle Tower. Wow, amazing. Amazed? I know. I amaze myself. Sometimes. Anyways, you're almost at the end. Solve each riddle and match it to the door with its answer. Look right for your first riddle. Oh, okay. It's here. Start with this one. What begins with the letter E, ends in the letter E, and only has one letter? Well, that's easy. That's envelope. Oh, there's, there's going to be so many doors. What's this? Rooms on this floor. The letter F, Horn, United Kingdom, Drift, the letter N, Judge, 1, and the letter E. Oh, I see. So we've just got to find the correct floor. Is there... Right, okay. Oh, nice. Envelope's on... Oh, it's right there. Completely run past the door to go to the sign. Okay. So we go in there. Oh. Max, what was that? Why are there still explosions? You signed a... Yeah, okay. Random stuff. Yeah, that's just the answer to the riddle. What word is it that if you take the whole away, some remains? Oh, that's an easy one. Wholesome. Because you take the whole away and some remains. God. I thought this was going to be really hard, you know. I was really looking forward to it. But yeah, Wholesome's on this one. So, where's Wholesome? Here, yeah, Wholesome, Wholesome, Wholesome. There it is. Awesome. Yeah, exactly what I said. Am I getting paid? Go away. What makes more noise when it is dead than when it is alive? That's another really easy one. That's a leaf. So, another simple one because when you tread on a leaf, it cracks and rustles. Um, where is the board? Oh, it's all the way around here. And obviously, when it's alive, it doesn't. So, is leaf on there? No. Okay. What about this one? Oh, twig. No, because if you snap a twig off while it's alive, it still makes noise. Oh, I see. Leaves. Okay. Um, where is leaf? Leaves. Oh, there it is. We found it. Off we go. Hee, 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 hee. Correct, yeah, exactly what I said. I'm letting Max do one. Let's hope I don't regret this. Okay. What's brown, sticky, and in my hand? Well, I'll, that's normally a stick, but there wasn't a stick on the boards, but there was a twig. So, that's quite handy that I saw that. Yes, twig. Where's twig? None of them. Okay, let's go this way then. Ah, oh, there it is, twig. In we go. Did two. I bet you thought it was stick. I did think it was stick, but I would have grabbed twig, so that kind of helped. I don't even know if that counted as a riddle. Eh, not really. What do you throw out when you need it and take it in when you don't? Oh, that's got me a little bit stumped. Throw out when you need it, take it in when you don't. Right, remember that. Throw out when you need it, take in when you don't. Because what we'll do is we'll actually read the different boards and see if we can work it out. Oh, I see. Anchor. Yeah, because when you need it, you throw it out. And then when you've stopped using it, you read it back in. That was a little bit of a tricky one. Correcto. You throw out an anchor. Yeah, pretty much what I said. Okay. Lima, Echo, Echo, Kilo, Delta, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo. Okay. So L-E-E-K-D-U. Oh, it spells his name. Leap Duck. Okay. Was there a leak duck room? 
Oh, okay. I was looking for the sign, but I just found the room anyway. Okay, this is a much larger room. Oh, look, he's got a bed and everything. Oh, how cute. The bear's name is Ponky. Die, bear, die. I don't like your name. I hope you got this one. Yeah, I got it. How much dirt is there in a hole three metres long, four metres deep, and five metres wide? Well, there'd be none, wouldn't there? Obviously, because it's a hole, so there wouldn't be dirt in it. Oh, these are so easy. I really did think this was going to be hard. I'm so disappointed with it so far. Um, It's not that one. Is there a... Oh, I see. They put in the 60 room, so I'm guessing if I go in there, I'd die because that's what them numbers would have added up to. That's clever, but I'm still going with zero. If I die in zero, then it's got to be 60, but I don't see how that works because there shouldn't be any dirt in a hole. So, into zero we go. Please don't kill me. No, I think we're good. Bingo, there's no dirt in the hole. Yep, you're almost done. There's only one riddle left. Okay. If you throw me out a window, you will leave a grieving wife, but leave me in the middle of the door, and you might just save a life. What am I? I'm getting caught up on the window and the grieving wife bit, because obviously a grieving wife is a widow, so that'd be N. But I can't work out the door bit. And I'm pretty sure on one of them signs there was the letter N. Let's go for the letter N, and we'll see what happens. I can't work out the door bit. Oh, there's a letter N. Is it right? Is it right? I mean, I, I'm saying it will probably kill me. I don't know if it will. It might just say, no, you're wrong, and that's it. Hmm. Take, out the, take N out of window, and you get widow. Yeah, I was right about that. Put N in door, and you... Oh, donor. Of course. Yeah. All right. That was just me being stupid. I couldn't work out where to put the N. Yeah, you're almost done. I'm a four-letter word, take away three letters, and my meaning doesn't change. Wait, I thought it said I only had one riddle left. Like, I had to answer two now. That's not fair. Anyway, <laughs> I'm a four-letter word, take away three letters, and my meaning doesn't change. I've not heard of that. This is actually a riddle that I've never heard of before. I'm a four-letter word, take away three letters. I mean, okay, so I guess we run around and find all four-letter words and then see if we could take three letters away from them. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it that way. Rooms on this floor. Danger, earthquake, dock. Right, okay, so we've got dock. D-O-C-K doesn't make a dock. King, K-I-N-G, doesn't make a king. Oh, my God, I've just seen it. That's actually really clever. That that, has, that actually got me for a bit, but now that I see it, I figured it out. If you take out the F, the I, and the E, it leaves V, which is obviously the, the Roman numeral for five, so it'd still mean five. That's actually really smart. I, I'm impressed with that one. That actually puzzled me a bit. So, what have we got? Oh, danger. Okay, better not go near there. Where's five? There it is. Five. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? That's right. Take away F, I, E, and you still have V, which will... Yeah. Awesome. Well, before doing that, because we respawn up there anyway, I don't want to go any further. I want to see what's in that danger room. Oh, that's a shame. They must have made the door just that little bit too big to be able to get on top of it. I really wanted to see what was in there. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know. Right, off we go. Um, which door was it? Was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, five. Nice. Through we go. Over the little jingle. I like that. Yeah, we read that one. Huzzah, you did it. You're a G. The G stands for genius. Now I have to do this bit about sharing the map and stuff. Yeah, okay. I mean, you're getting featured on my YouTube channel. Don't don't be a uh, yeah one of those guys. Uh, you could try running the map again. I, uh, I might run it again. Have a look, see if I can find the other ones. I bet it is the Rift Back to the Creative Hub. Nice. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and then that way you get to be the first one to see my new videos when I put them on. Peace out.